Okay. So I'm going to create this cluster bar chart, which is uh, you know not so different from the uh, stack bar chart. It needed uh, the multiple dimensions to minimum to maximum two dimension is needed, and here also for cluster bar chart there is also two dimension needed. Okay. The separate the same thing is just uh, you know changing the uh, you know visualizations. As you can see, just assume these are all plates or coins. Are placed one top of another. There is five rupees coin. This is ten rupees coin. This is two rupees coin. This is one rupees coin, and so on. So they are stacked one top of another. Now, if you just not put them into a stack, and then you just put them into a queue. Okay, you will just change the orientation. You'll, you'll just break this uh, stack, and you will you will place them into a single queue. You'll make a bunch of them. Okay, so bunch of Red rows, uh, and then bunch of yellow rows, bunch of white rows, bunch of pink rows. This is something look like this. Okay, so this is what we call as a cluster. If you just arrange them into just like a class, okay, bunch of uh, uh, you know red rows, yellow rows. So in that case, it would not be placed one top of another, just like here. There will be a bunch. Okay, so same your representation in that case. You need one uh, measure and two dimensions. Okay, so let's draw it. Cluster bar analysis. Uh, I will take uh, one country. So this one is a cluster bar. First dimension I will take country, and the measure I will take say cells. So it becomes country by cells. So the next I will add is the product, continuous product cell. Which particular product is sold highly in which particular country based on the demand of the customer. So I choose this one, it's become a cluster. So it's become a very tight cluster because every country has few number of this thing. So instead of this country, I will just change uh, the data actually. I will make uh, something called month. So month are only uh, 12. So I can have it. So this is what we have the uh, analysis. Or else let me just remove it. Let me just remove the product. I'll take, I'll just take the list of month. And uh, maybe list of quarters and list of months. So every quarter will have three months. So that data would be pretty much legible to understand. There are how many quarters? Four quarters. Then I'll just add the second level data, which is a month. So this should be cluster. Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. This become cluster now. Mm -hmm. Or second, third, fourth, and then we'll have products. So this is what we call as a cluster bar chart. So there are four quarters, and I I want to see them into a cluster. It's just like yellow rows, red rows, pink rows, white rows. Okay. Now if you just same data, if you represent, if you try to represent them into uh, stack bar chart. How do you represent them? If you just simply change them to stack, this, you know, uh, these are all products will be placed one top of another, and there will be only four bars, and this, these colors will be represented one top of another, something like this. Is it different from this one? This is exactly the same with this. Okay. 
same colors or same piece of items are placed one top of another whereas the same piece of an uh, item are placed one top of another whereas the same piece of another uh, so the same piece of items are placed in a group i mean in a bunch hmm? so this is what we call as a cluster part legend can be removed uh, The good thing here is in Power BI is it is automatically generating your title. In other tool, you need to write your title manually. Here the title which I, here the data whatever we are using, it is automatically created the title. Say we are using the data is product and water. Okay. Even though it is not correct and it's not looking good, it is it is giving the name actually, which is somewhat appropriate. The name is COGS by Quarter and Products. So we could have, uh, you know, name it uh, something like Transporter and Transproduct. So you could have name it like, uh, you know, um, Quarterly Product Sales. Can we name it something like this? Quarterly Product Sales. This is a sales. So something we can name it which can be understood to user by simply, know, you know, uh, reading the title, then he can pretend that what about the data is explaining. Hmm. This should be self-explanatory. This is nice looking chart and this one is also Okay, so uh, we will just uh, rename the title and uh, here with the property in the title. Give the title in such a way that the name should be understood to user. So here in the text title, you can give quarterly Can you do it like this? So quarterly means in the x-axis it's showing all these quarters and then there are different products. In the first quarter these all list of the products are sold. In the second quarter these all list of the products are sold and so on in the third and fourth. In the x-axis, I need to enable this uh, title. So enabling this title which will, will, will show here the title. Yes. And if you want to make the title different from the data value, so data uh, you know field is transporter, which is you know pretty technical, and user cannot understand what is transporter. So here in the axis title, there is a field called text box. Just saying auto, I mean automatically it's taking the database field, rather you can name it as quarter. Hmm? This is good. Now likewise we have also in y-axis we have this thing in the end, value definition. So you can give it cells. Sorry, I have made the title on. There was off actually earlier. Hmm? You have to make the title on. So, mm. title axis, axis of the title. And even though the field name is uh, COGS, you can make it sales, which will be more understandable to user. So, this chart seems to be complete. This one is complete.